And we're back, YouTube. Thank you for tuning in. As always, I appreciate that. So if you haven't followed the gaming news lately, then you probably haven't heard about this whole controversy surrounding the Dead Cells review by IGN, or should I say by this guy, as you will see him to my right, I think. This guy is Philip Muchin, who was responsible for writing the Dead Cells review for IGN, but it turns out that he ripped off a YouTuber called Do Boomstick Gaming. And almost wordly, he, Philip, took the review of Boomstick and used, him, used that for his own review or his own purposes for IGN. So next up, Philip was fired by IGN. And um, it's been quiet for a couple of days now, but Philip has now released his own statement on YouTube. So I thought it would be interesting to go over the stuff that he's saying as he is, as he, he is saying it. So if you look at the response, which is interesting, is that 1.8K people liked it, but 11K people didn't like it. And it's easy to see why. So let's go and start the video. So obviously this guy wants to get something off his chest. So let's listen. I'm not really sure where to start. Well, start with an apology. Because there's a lot that I need to say. Well, then say it. But if you're watching this video, then you probably already heard about the plagiarism allegations. They're not just allegations. I mean, you took Boomstick's review of Dead Cells and almost wordly and used them for your own purposes, for your own review. And now you're waiting for my side of the story. Yes, I am. Tell me. So here it is. All right. I take complete ownership over what happened with the Dead Cells review. I take complete ownership for what happened to the Dead Cells review. What does that mean? What does it mean to take complete ownership? This is obviously not an apology because you take ownership, whatever that means. There were a lot of circumstances surrounding it, but I there were a lot of s circumstances surrounding it. So let me know, share them, Philip. That's why I'm watching this video. That's why you're sitting there in that chair. So tell me. At the end of the day, I, I was the editorial lead on it. So if anything, that makes it my responsibility. Okay. Now I expect you to share with me those circumstances. My review process isn't really that different from other reviewers that I've met while working as a professional in the games media industry. Okay, so here's now he goes into his review process and he calls himself a professional in the game industry. I don't expect a professional in the gaming industry to rip off somebody else's work. Right. If you're a beginner in the gaming industry and you do this, I mean, plagiarism is everywhere. Obviously, it's it's in it's in at universities. It's people plagiarize books, right? So it is something that happens, right? This it, it is it is what it is. And the formula stays the same for whatever product I'm reviewing. I do as much research as I can about it, whether it's a game a product or an event, I try to look at all resources that I have available to me. I look at all the resources available to me, which also implies that he's looking at all the reviews out there, which is okay. I mean, reviews out there are public information. So, but it's another thing, and that's the point, to take somebody else's review and make it your own. Before I start formulating my own critical opinions so that I... Well, the problem is that you didn't formulate your own critical opinion. You took somebody else's. I can offer the most cohesive possible review. The bottom line is that what happened with the Dead Cells review was not at all intentional. Oh, it wasn't intentional. That's the bottom line. So what is it then? I don't know. Philip, you don't tell me anything. You don't tell me anything about the circumstances and you don't apologize to Boomstick Gaming, who you ripped off. So with that said, I just want to apologize to everybody at IGN for... What? 
you're going to apologize to IGN, your employer, your former employer who fired you, while you should apologize to Boomstick Gaming, whose work you ripped off. For all of the undeserved criticisms and doubt that may... Undeserved criticisms are pointed at you, but they're not undeserved. They're criticisms, and rightly so. They have been sparked in their credibility as a respected source for games media. I mean, I made a lot of great friends over there, and the last thing that I ever wanted to do was disappoint any of them or put any of them in a bad place. I don't think that IGN actually got a lot of negative publicity because of this, because IGN took responsibility and stepped in and fired this guy. So IGN did what it, what, what it should. There are so many very talented, hardworking and creative people at IGN and each and, and every- And you jeopardized that. You jeopardize those people because people are going to investigate to other people at IGN to look for more of this stuff because of you. One of them deserves praise for the great content that they put out every single day. I have nothing but the utmost love and respect for everyone there. So just please don't swarm them with any mean and undeserved negative attention. I'd also like to apologize point. to Motion Twin, the developers of Dead Cells. Oh, now he's going to apologize to Motion Twin, the developer of Dead Cells. I mean, uh, that's not the point either. I mean, they were in the midst of a controversy, but for a game, that's not always bad. You know, people are talking about Dead Cells and the controversy that might, you know, that might help Dead Cells get into the public eye, right? It sucks so no, much that their game got caught in the middle not, of this controversy. It doesn't controversy suck always. Because it really is a great game, and a lot of people not worked the point. very hard on it for a long time. So I hope that it gets the recognition that it deserves for the right reasons. As for Boomstick, I have nothing but the best wishes for him, and I hope... All right. He has the best wishes for Boomstick. He doesn't apologize to him. I hope that his wave of success lasts... Oh, his wave of success lasts a long time. A long time. A lot time. of you watching this video. So he congratulates Boomstick with the wave of success because of this situation instead of apologizing. I mean, Philip, put yourself in the shoes of Boomstick, who put in the effort and the time and the resources to create something that his, is his own. And you took it video might not know my story but tell me your story philip tell me then tell me those circumstances you don't tell me shit i also started out as a youtuber so i completely understand what it's like being a small youtuber trying to make a name for yourself i mean boomstick just just keep doing what you're doing man it looks like you have a great thing going and i've got nothing but respect for you yeah but you don't have an apology for him you don't have an apology to Boomstick. I was lucky That's enough to get noticed on IGN through my YouTube channel, which, if in case you're wondering, is in fact all of my own original work. So you can keep looking, Kotaku, and, and please let me know if you find anything, which... So now he's gonna take shots at Kotaku for investigating his other work. By the way, their, their news editor, Jason Schreier, tried to imply that my FIFA 18 review was also inauthentic by claiming that I copied it from Nintendo Life, and that's, that's just so not the case. I mean, maybe he was implying that if you have similarly opinionated reviews, then you're just plagiarizing, or maybe he's... It's not about similar views. Dude, you ripped off somebody's work be brutally honest about that just say i apolog apologize to boomstick to ign to people who expected an objective review of me the reviewer of you philip he's just trying to get as many clicks off of my name right no, now no 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 other people are not getting any more clicks of your name or this whole thing possible or maybe he just likes kicking people when they're down oh, God. i don't know i mean 
check it out for yourselves and and you Dude. be the judge. But one thing that I do know is that it's not very fun being the target of a gigantic lynch mob oh. who wants nothing more than to feed into your destruction. The it's not that's not the point, Philip. You took this on yourself. I don't know, how do you say that? It's your doing. The amount of hate and threats that I've been receiving on social media have been pretty staggering. And I get it, I mean, people are mad and rightfully so. Okay, so rightfully so, they are mad. But why then, Philip? Why are they mad? You have not even gone into that. But it's one thing to go and harass me, berate me with hateful words and, and threats. And it's a whole other thing to look up my family members and spread hateful comments on their social media accounts. That's just, it's just not okay. Oh, I agree with you. I really do. It's not okay to, to go target other family members that have nothing to do with this situation. But again, that's not the point. I mean, not on any level. They have nothing to do with this, so, so please just leave them out of it. There have been so many of you that have also reached out to me with kindness and words of support. Sure. And honestly, I can't, I can't thank you enough for that because it's probably the only thing that's been keeping my head straight throughout right. this whole nightmare. And, that's, that's and it great. gives me hope for the future because honestly, I love what I do and, and I want to keep doing it. All right. So he loves doing what he does. He loves playing games. He loves writing about games. And obviously that is true. Let's be honest, this guy, he deserves a second chance. Everybody deserves a second chance. But please, Philip, if you make a mistake, be brutally honest and just say, I should not have ripped off Boomstick. That's not okay. I am not going to do that again. I learned my lesson. I was in a rush, I was stressed, I whatever. It's not relevant, I did it, and I apologize. It's all he had to say. I don't want to stop making videos. I, I want to prove to you that I can be better, better sure. than I ever was before. Like I said, I take full responsibility for what happened with the Dead Cells review, and I know- Now, then what happened, Philip? We're 4.37 seconds into your video and you've still not explained what happened I know that i'm gonna have to do a lot of work to earn your trust back but that's okay because i'm gonna do everything that i can to make that happen the truth is i didn't get into this industry to make money or to get famous i started this whole journey because i love video games and even more so because I love making content sure. about them. I mean, I wanted to share my passion for entertainment with you and maybe inspire others to go out and chase their dreams as well. All right, no problem. So that's that's everything I have to say. Thank you so much for your time and, and thank you to everyone who's been so incredibly supportive throughout this entire living nightmare. And I hope, I really hope I get to see you guys again soon. Okay. That sounded a little desperate. So, and again, he deserves a second chance, but this is not a response from a guy that takes complete ownership of what happened. But I guess I've explained enough here. So that's it for me. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.